Hi, welcome. One of the most challenging undertakings for any artist is establishing correct proportions in their drawing or painting. In this short video, we'll talk about how to use the accuracy proportional divider to make a perfectly proportioned painting. The proportional divider consists of three parts, the reference end, the transfer end, and the ladder with adjustable locking switch. The divider is very easy to use and requires only five easy steps. For this project, we'll be using the proportional divider. I'll be painting on canvas, I'll be using brushes, I'll be drawing with charcoal stick. First, we need to determine how large we'd like our drawing to be. This will be determined by the size of the canvas and our desired composition. The first consideration is where the locking switch is set. Setting the switch closer to the ends of the divider increases the size contrast between the reference and transfer ends of the divider. I adjust the locking switch by pulling back on the lever and pushing out and resetting the locking pin to the desired hole. It will remain in this position for the duration of the painting. Now we need to choose a reference standard. With this subject, I've decided to use the apple in large part because it's easy to identify and the size is easy to work from. Now I'm holding out the proportional divider to fill the reference area with the apple. Now that I have the apple's height referenced, I'm transferring that information to my canvas. And now we have the standard that we'll refer to for the remainder of the drawing. And that's the basic process right there. Now we can determine the dimensions for other elements of the subject as they relate to our reference standard, the apple. First, let's see how the height of the vase compares to the height of the apple. Before I make the next measurement, I return to the canvas to make sure the transfer end of the divider matches the apple. Maintaining the size of the divider, I return to my subject matter. I focus on making the apple fit once more into the reference end of the divider. This confirms that I'm seeing the subject from the same relative position as earlier. The key is making the apple fit once again using the reference standard as a guide. Now that I've positioned the apple to fit the reference end of the divider, I slide the divider over, opening it to arrive at the comparative height of the vase. Now I'm transferring the height of the vase to the canvas. Now that I have some vertical comparisons, I'm creating a horizontal reference. As before, I'm going back to our standard of reference, and now all we do is rotate the divider 90 degrees and we can find the width of the vase. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to purchase the proportional divider, you can do so at accuracy.com. Also, please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions you might have.